Poland sent its first batch of Leopard route battle tanks to Ukraine, which is a symbolic gesture to mark one year since Russia's invasion as Western allies rushed to arm the embattled nation's forces amid intensified Kremlin-ordered attacks. According to an official who asked not to be named, Poland Prime Minister will announce the delivery of the first of its 14 German-made combat vehicles that his country has pledged during a visit to Kyiv on Friday. Defence Minister of Poland said that the tanks have already been delivered without specifying the number. On Friday, Sri Lanka's Election Commission formally announced that the local body elections will not be held on March 9th as planned and a fresh date will be notified on March 3rd. The formal announcement was made after deliberations among the Election Commission officials on Friday, a day after the cash-strapped hit country's top court postponed hearing a petition against the holding of the polls until May. The Commission will now seek the Speaker of Parliament, Mahinda Yapa Abe Vardhana's intervention to secure requisite funds from the Treasury to conduct the polls. Just days after Australia's intelligence chief revealed that his agency had scored a major counter-espionage success, a local newspaper has reported that Australia has exposed and expelled a large Russian spy ring whose members were posing as diplomats. On Friday, citing unnamed sources with knowledge of the operation, the Sydney Morning Herald reported that the spy ring comprised purported embassy and consular staff as well as other operatives using deep cover identities. The newspaper reported that the ring had operated in Australia for 18 months before it was uncovered and its activities were broken up by the Australian Security Intelligence Organisation, which is the country's main domestic spy agency. On Friday, global finance leaders tallied the economic damage from Russia's war in Ukraine as they met on the conflict's first anniversary. The meeting of G20 finance ministers and central bank governors on the outskirts of Bengaluru comes amid signs that global outlook has improved from the group's last meeting in October when a number of G20 economies were on the verge of recession amid energy and food price spikes caused by the war. On Thursday, US Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen emphasized the improvement, saying that the global economy is in a better place today than many predicted just a few months ago. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.